place to have breakfast here. We we'll pack this into away first, and then we sit and have our breakfast by the stream. And then it's uh, back carrying on up the mountain over there. So. Okay, we just enjoy breakfast. So, leaving this nice spot here. It's been very quiet here. Haven't uh, seen any other people. Used to get visitors on horses and things, but not here. Very quiet. So. Yeah, we'll just go back up to the road up there and um, fill our water bottles up. There's a kind of spring up there, and then uh, just carry on up the mountain. See what uh, the scenery is like today. Ah, the top have yet another mountain pass. This time, 2,500 meters. So, looks like we have a nice valley ahead. There are beautiful goats, there are beautiful small small horses and small cows, so they are very pretty and it's very beautiful and it's nice to see animals. Animals can be free in the nature, not all, all the time be in a little house and give food to them. Yeah, Here they have well. the whole the whole this area full with grass they just can go to Cycling through the deserts of the Middle East there, this is wonderful. So the condition of the road now deteriorated, quite stony now and uh, uh, quite compact but there's quite a few stones and a bit slow going now, completely different than compared to yesterday. Pretty impressive landscape. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop that's we want to lift. <laughs> We're okay, enjoying the ride. There we are up at uh, two thousand seven hundred meters. That's uh, nearly as high as we were a few days ago on the Calamo Pass. It's uh, a lot of up and downs today, up and down, up and down. Now we're climbing again. It looks as though we have to climb even higher. have to go over this mountain now. Straight up on the rocks. Road 
we were on a few minutes ago, we had a quick rest down there, some peanuts to get some energy. Now we're climbing up here. Really, really strong riding by Jamie and here. These mountains are serious mountains now. Up to 3,000 metres again here. This is where Jamie's uh, big lungs he has from Peru come in very useful. Wow, impressive. Incredible the strength that little guy he has in his legs. His also legs are also like tree trunks now of muscle. Amazing. And he just keeps going and going. Who does he do it? No stopping that little guy there. He's way out in the front. Oh my goodness. Does he get a strength on? Yesterday, he was dropping when half a year ago. I was leaving him like it. Regain his strength. I can't believe it. <laughs> Look at what he's just cycled up. <laughs> this is a joke. That guy's unbelievable. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's the road down there we came through earlier. Here he is, king of the mountains himself. <laughs> Over 30 minutes ago, we were standing next to that view at the, we came on the road over there and we noticed there was a bit of a hill in the way, so we cycled the piss. Uh, now we're here. Now we're on in 2,930 meters now. Yeah. That is nearly 3,000 yeah. meters. We've just climbed two, 3,000 meter mountains in a week. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one we didn't even know was a mountain. No. We were told by the tour leader right, that it was going to be mainly flat today and downhill. <laughs> yeah. A slight, a slight bump in the way. So, it's time for a rest and lunch. We have a rest right on the top of the mountain here. So, after that, we have to go downhill by the looks of it over there. So, we'll have some lunch now and then we'll get back on the bikes. And it's time for 20 kilometers of downhill to a town called Kosh Dobo. So, leaving the summit now, 3,000 meters here, I'm pretty close to. And well, let's go down. We're entering a small village, this is called Kosh Dobo. So, uh, let's see if we can find a shop here or something and then maybe camp on the other side of it. Of the, of the plan, let's see if that's possible. If there are any shops here at all. Okay, just asking some of the locals here where the shop is. What a magazine here in Kyrgyzstan.
Sorry, looks like this is the shop. <laughs> no idea what they sell, but we'll have a look. Oh, we're quite lucky here in Kosh Dobi. Managed to find a shop. Have uh, just about what we need. So we have food for a few days more again. So uh, almost a bit of a stir in the shop as so many people <laughs> packing in there to see what we're doing. But uh, yeah, it's okay. Cycle out to the side of the town and find somewhere to camp, I think. So, got what we need. Yeah, milk we didn't find this time, but we found like some soft bread and some dry heavy bread. Yes, and cheese. The cheese we found, that was impossible the last time. Last time. Okay, just turned up here. I haven't got any nice stream today, it's all a bit dry out here. So, just a few. From the town there, so that's okay. It'll be the camping for today. We've got water anyway, so get the tent up and let's have something to eat here. Okay, tent is up. May not be the most perfect place we've ever camped, but it's a spot. And, uh, nice views to the mountains over there, even though they're completely dry and barren. All those beautiful green mountains we had this after this morning have just gone. That's a shame. Looks like it's going to be another dry, barren. Valley we have to cycle through tomorrow. But never mind. We'll get the cooker going now and it's time to have a rest, take it easy. Okay, so that was the end of today. Yeah, we started in a really nice place, really nice camping spot, really idyllic. The nice stream, that was nice. And then so we took our time this morning, then we got going. We rode through a really nice green valley, so we thought yes, now we're just uh, cycling through green Kyrgyzstan. And uh, all of a sudden a mountain appeared that we didn't know about, so that was another 3,000 meter climb, but it uh, didn't take too long actually. Jamie uh, had his speedy legs on, so yeah, it didn't take him long to get to the top of that. And uh, yeah, then we basically came down all afternoon, but then it got more and more uh, dry and barren here, so uh, yeah, the nice green landscape has uh, pretty much gone. The mountains to our sides are now just barren, so that's a bit of a shame, but. Uh, yeah, that's the way it is here, but um, yeah, tomorrow we'll just carry on down the road, um, heading to a town called Aktel. Probably a few days biking from here, two or three days maybe, depending on how the road is. It was quite uh, rough and stony towards the end today, which makes it slow going. Even though we're going down, we can't go fast because the bikes are just banging and bumping everywhere. So yeah, that's the way it is, but uh, that's it really today. We'll. Uh, Pack away here now, just had dinner and then we'll be back on the bikes tomorrow. Okay, see you.